Welcome back. Well, enthusiastic crowds in South London neighbourhood greeted Prince Harry and his fiancée Meghan Markle. The two stopped by a community radio station for their first official royal event of the year. CNN royal correspondent Max Foster was there as the couple arrived. Meghan Markle's talked about getting boots on the ground and getting to know local communities and also local projects, smaller projects. So she's come here with Prince Harry. Uh, this is a radio station in the inner city of London. And uh, they produce a lot of talent. What they do is they teach media skills to young people. Uh, it looks easy just going up to a group of people and shaking hands, but actually look at the scene that confronts her. An absolutely massive crowd. There wasn't a lot of press around this, so people didn't necessarily know she was coming. So this lot only found out about it in the last couple of hours. Imagine all the attention that's going to happen around the wedding, which we do know about, happening in May. So there she is. She's meeting some local officials. Uh, she's also meeting some representatives of the radio station here. And she's going to go inside and she's going to meet people that have benefited from the project, but also the people that run it. There'll be huge amounts of attention, as usual, on what she's wearing. I can't give you the expert advice on that, but she's dressed for a cold and wintry British day. Max Foster, CNN, Brixton, London. Well, Britain's Princess Charlotte has started her first day of school. She's attending Wilcox Nursery School, a private school just a short walk from her home in Kensington Palace. CNN's Erin McLaughlin explains how the royal family handles the big day. The first day of school can be tough enough without the glare of the global media. But when you're Prince George and now Princess Charlotte, intense attention is the status quo. It's extremely difficult if you are a senior member of the royal family to grow up in what would be called a normal way. What has to be done whilst you're at school is a negotiation with the media that you get privacy, but you also have occasional photo opportunities. Documenting the first day is a decades-old royal tradition. Here's Prince William and Prince Harry. Prince Charles' time at boarding school was even dramatized by the Netflix series The Crown. We should not delude ourselves that it has been entirely successful. Growing up royal may be privileged, but it's never been easy, with the odd temper tantrum sometimes out there for the world to see. Now add to that the scrutiny of social media, and with it, security concerns. Less than a week after Prince George started school in South London, a 40-year-old woman was arrested for trying to break in. She was released with a warning. There's also the matter of the children's fashion. Each item of clothing often sells out in record time. According to one consultancy, Princess Charlotte alone could be worth billions to the British economy. Although she may not realize it now, that's a lot of pressure for a two-year-old princess, fourth in line to the throne. There's no question that William and Kate have been very, very conscious about the media attention that has been lavished on Prince George. And with another royal baby on the way, the youngest of the Cambridges will at least have each other for support. Erin McLaughlin, CNN London. Well, before we go with all the discussion we've had about women empowerment and closing the pay gap, we wanted to let you know that CNN is dedicated to covering the debate over gender equality. CNN is partnering with the European Journalis Journalism Center, and in a special interactive section on our website, we'll show you the challenges, whether it's in the classroom or the workplace, in politics or in healthcare. And you'll see what's being done to bring down barriers wherever they exist. So log on to cnn.com slash as equals to find out more. Well, that does it for us here at the International Desk from all of our team here. Thanks for watching. I'm Linda Kincaid. World Sport is next.